Howdy folks, thought I'd do a video for you left-handed shooters out there, you southpaws, because the other night I picked up what I consider to be the holy grail of left-handed guns. This isn't it, this is a pretty nice gun, it's a Remington 870 shotgun, chambered in 12 gauge, obviously left-handed because the ejection port here on the left-hand side. So when you rack the pump, your spent shell comes out the left-hand side and not across your field of vision on the right. Um, they don't make accessories for it, so I had to cut a couple notches into an Allen belt so I could fit it onto this thing, but um, it works. And if you're a lefty, um, those AR-15s are getting more popular, Stag Arms is making more and more parts. So I have a little left-handed project here in the making. It's going to be a left-handed um, AR chambered in 6.8 millimeter SBC. Uh, I actually wrote the Stag Arms to see if they'd ever make a AR-10 chambered in 308, but they have no intentions at this time. But you can see a bunch of little different left-handed uh, accoutrements. Got that Norgon ambidextrous release here, ambidextrous uh, selector switch. Of course, the brass flies out on the left-hand side here, ambidextrous uh, charging handle. So these are readily available also. The next gun is actually a hunting gun, and I don't think I'll ever take it hunting. It's kind of rare. And the reason I won't take it hunting is because it is such a beauty. Look at this thing. This is a Weatherby Mark V Deluxe, and first of all, the wood is just fantastic. It's really light. There's at least three different woods on in here. You can look at the, the inlay here on the the butt of the grip. It's a it's a really handsome looking firearm. Um, you can see on the reverse side that it is a true left hand because the cheek rest, the cheek protrusion here on the right hand side, and the whole action is left handed. So it's got that smooth Weatherby movement. It is chambered in 30-06, which is kind of strange because a lot of Weatherbees are chambered in their own proprietary calibers. But uh, I really like 30-06. I was lucky to find it um, in a Weatherby and in left-handed. And what's even more rare is it has a Weatherby Premier Glass scope on it. You can see I left the QC sticker on here, the quality control sticker on here, just because it is <laughs> it's a safe queen. This uh. This gun is not going to be taken out to the brush, it's going to be taken out to the range uh, on nice dry days, uh, fired maybe a handful of times, then uh, cleaned immediately afterwards and put back. Beautiful gun, but it is not the gun I'm talking about. The gun I'm talking about is really rare. I believe, according to the latest edition of uh, Gun Value Blue Books, uh, there's about 225 of these made. Not too many left-handed handguns out there. I know that Charter Arms is making a snubby revolver, I think it's called the Southpaw. I actually asked my uh, local gun dealer, I said, hey, uh, I'm left-handed, I just got a Smith & Wesson, maybe I need to look into this Charter Arms. And he told me, he said, you know what, you're better off keeping your Smith & Wesson. He said the Charter Arms would be like if you took your Smith & Wesson, dumped it in acid, tied a rope to it, and dragged it behind your truck for a couple miles, then you'd have the quality and the, the accuracy of a Charter Arms gun. He was left-handed himself. He said what, what people are concerned with with a revolver uh, being left-handed is to get the cylinder out so that they can actually load while keeping their firing hand uh, where it is. What he did, he said you have to get proficient by hitting the release then loading this way and then you're good to go. And he said get a couple snap caps, keep doing that. Uh, there's some hand juggling going on but if you're left-handed you get used to these kinds of things. But you don't have to do it for this gun. This is amazing. As I said, only 225 or so of these model B131s made. Uh, Chart Arms did make other lefties. Anything that's a model starting with the letter B is left-handed gun. And uh, the company existed from 1985 to 1987 and it was based out of California, which is kind of rare, you know, or kind of odd by today's standards, seeing as California usually frowns upon uh, <laughs> varying degrees of gun ownership and gun rights. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So just finding the uh, the box alone and even the uh, the manuals and paperwork to go with it, for something that's 25 years old, that's fantastic. You can see that it says the only stainless steel fit for duty. They pioneered the stainless steel 1911, and they were also the ones to make the left-handed version. So there it is. Look at that. What a beautiful gun. There it is. Uh, inside the box, we also have some magazines. Grips. 
Yeah, I drove out a couple hours from uh, where I live to meet a guy um, to make the purchase. Um, and he wasn't actually the original owner. He bought it as an investment, so I, I'm sure he made some money off of it. But the original owner, I guess, had uh, rode this thing uh, hard and put it away wet because it was dirty. So I actually got to point this out. Um, you can see how, how nice the, uh, the mirror finishes on the trigger and on the barrel now. It wasn't like that before. I had to do a complete disassembly and just a uh, complete clean. And I used this. Uh, it says, there's no shine like Mother's. This is Mother's mag and aluminum polish. You can pick it up at your local track auto or auto zone. And uh, this works amazing. It's like a, a miracle in a tub. So if you have any stainless steel uh, parts on your guns that you want to um, bring back the luster to, this is the stuff to use. All right, let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> it's a handsome gun. As it says, stainless steel, you can see that there's a mirror finish stainless steel on the barrel, the guide rod, and the trigger. You got some bead blasted stainless steel on the top and the sides, and you got brushed stainless steel on, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on our parts of the frame and the slide too. It's a great looking gun. You can see on the magazine that the notch is here on the left hand side. That's because the mag release is here on the right hand side. So everything can be operated by your thumb. Let's uh, crack the slide and obviously look at that. The ejection port here on the left hand side so your brass is flying out to the left. <laughs> it's just neat. So as we said, you got the mag release, slider release on the side, and your safety is here also. If you're a southpaw, this is the gun made for you. That's just amazing. Real smooth, crisp trigger pull on that thing. Uh, what's really neat, he has these grips here that are actually target grips made for this thing. And you can tell that they're made for it because on the right hand target grip, there's a little tiny uh, channel actually drilled out to accommodate this uh, the tube that holds the spring with the detents for the slide stop and the, the safety. But what a great looking gun. Let's see if, I'm going to see if I can show you something else here. Um, here we go. I got a flashlight. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the on the screen. You might be able to see some of it already. But if you look carefully, yeah, if this catches it right, what I'm trying to show you is that the rifling on this thing is counterclockwise. If you look at your other guns, they're most likely going to be a clockwise rifling. This gun is a complete flip of a right-handed gun. I actually took it, as I said, I took it apart to the bare bones and everything in there flipped 180 degrees. It's, <laughs> it's just totally wild. Uh, I know if uh, you're looking for something like this, there's guys on Gunbroker who are asking around six grand. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I paid closer to the blue book value, um, a little bit more than the blue book value, uh, or quite a bit more than the blue book value. But, you know, as a left-handed uh, shooter, I'm just so totally stoked to actually own one of these things. They're incredibly rare. I don't think I'd ever sell something like this. This is going to be part of my permanent collection. Um, and I'm just, oh, I'm going to take it to the range today, put her through her paces, see how she handles. I don't think I'm going to make her into a carry gun, but uh, she'll definitely sit on my desk and uh, I'll enjoy her for uh, many years to come. Cool. Ciao.